There are many ways to parameterize or fully specify a rotation matrix. Today I'll show three methods, Euler angles, axis angle, and roll pitch yaw. A rotation matrix tells you the coordinates of three orthogonal coordinate vectors, x, y, and z. The matrix has nine entries, but six constraints, so there are only three parameters. This demonstration shows three parameterizations to describe rotations between a fixed coordinate frame, denoted by O0, X0, Y0, Z0, and a rotated frame, denoted by O1, X1, Y1, Z1. The first parameterization uses Euler angles. There are many Euler angle conventions. This demonstration uses the ZYZ convention, which specifies the orientation of a frame by three successive rotations. The first rotates about the z-axis by the angle phi. Next, we rotate about the current y-axis by the angle theta. Finally, we rotate about the current z-axis by the angle psi. The composite rotation, using the shorthand convention of S subscript theta for sine theta and C subscript theta for cosine of theta, is shown here. The same rotation matrix can be parameterized in many other ways. Euler's rotation theorem states that any combination of rotations of a rigid body, such that a point in the rigid body remains fixed, is equivalent to a single rotation about some axis that runs through the fixed point. Our second parameterization uses axis angle parameterization. A rotation of omega about the unit axis k, where k is kx, ky, kz. This axis is drawn in purple. Watch this rotation. Simply rotate omega about our axis k and give us the exact same rotation that we had from the Euler angles. You can understand this because this again gives only three parameters by representing k by the two-parameter latitude-longitude pair. And so for k, the x-coordinate is the cosine of the longitude times the cosine of the latitude. The y-coordinate is the cosine of the longitude and the sine of the latitude. And the z-coordinate is the sine of the longitude. We can write this as a matrix and simplify this using the convention that V subscript omega is the ver sine of omega, which is 1 minus the cosine of omega. If we do that, we get the following matrix, and these entries map to exactly the same entries as the Euler convention. Our final parameterization uses roll, pitch, and yaw angles, denoted as alpha, beta, and gamma. The order of rotation in this demonstration is around the fixed coordinate frame x, y, z axis. So first, a yaw about x0 through an angle alpha. Second, a pitch about y0, that's the world y coordinate frame, by an angle beta. And third, a roll about z0 by an angle gamma. Because the rotations are about the fixed coordinate frame, the successive rotations pre-multiply, giving the composite rotation shown here. This demonstration was made by Benedict Isachi and myself, and is published on Mathematica Demonstrations. See the link in the description. Now I'm going to set the Euler angles to 1, 2, and 3, and you can see us step through these three rotations. Have a great day.